so so far so good we've got all our linkages in got the whole finger assembled we've got the bolt in here for our twist adjustment so now we move on to bolting the finger to the base now if you're building the hand kit this is as far as you would take each finger until you've built the palm and then the palm would represent this base plate and the fingers would be added to the palm. Since this instruction for right now is for a finger kit, I'm going to continue on mounting the finger to this uh, base plate, but I'll also do a mounting the fingers to the palm plate when I do an assembly video for the palm plate. So next thing we're going to do is mount up this. Now on this guy, this becomes a little bit trickier. You have these remaining three 440 nuts. Now if you look at this base, you'll see there's square slots that these nuts catch in over top of the hole. So what I tend to do is I just tend to drop a nut in the top and then I kind of work it around with my needle nose. Now the bottom slot, you want to get the flat sides of the nut. So you have you know, flat sides of nuts, pointed sides of nuts. You want to line up the flat sides of the nut with the flat sides of the black, the, the, the little uh, bracket and slide the nut in. So the flat sides say parallel. So that one can be a little bit of a bear. You got to just get in here with your needle nose and kind of grab the nut and turn it where you want it and then give it a little bit of a push. And it should slide in there. I don't know if you can see that on the video. I'll try, maybe I'll add a a photograph of a little bit better but that nut should slide in nicely and it'll actually stay in there pretty good so that's what we want is we want those nuts to catch in there then we take the other nuts and we drop them in now they tend to land with the points hitting our piece of plywood because they don't sit in and that is okay if the points come up and hit we're okay so we put one in there and we put one on this side. Now here is there's a couple little tricks here for doing this. What I like to do is go ahead and get a screw and put a screw up through this part. I know we're not bolting it to anything yet but if you run the screw up and just slightly let it press into the wood, it'll push that nut down against the, 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 wood part, the, uh, the base wood. Then we take the other screw and put it in there and run it up. And again, I'm going to run it up till it just barely touches the wood above and that pushes the screw down. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing for the third one on the back. Now this isn't a necessary step. You could just bolt this thing directly on, but I find that this saves a lot of headache when you're trying to put this finger together later onto the base plate. So what I do is I run the three screws up in there, just running them in until they bottom out lightly. And that pushes the nuts into place. And then I'll take my regular super glue. So we used our thin super glue to assemble the finger, but now I want to switch to the regular. If you do this next step with the thin, it'll wick under the nuts and actually glue the screws to the nuts and that becomes a real problem. If you use the thick stuff, it's not viscous enough to spread out so you can actually get away with it. So what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of the thick super glue and I'll just kind of put a dot right in between these three nuts on this base plate and then I'll just kind of wiggle it around so the super glue just bumps up against those three nuts and what that'll do is that kind of holds them in place. So I just put a drop in there and then maybe I'll take the back of my little paintbrush here and I'll just kind of slide it around and push it up against those three nuts there. And what that'll do is as that hardens, it's going to lock those three nuts in place. So when I take those screws out, they don't fall out on me. Now I imagine the same thing could be done with a small drop of Elmer's glue in between and let it dry. It's just going to take quite a while to dry the Elmer's glue in a drop like that. Now, this could simply be set aside until that super glue dries. It's going to take a little longer to dry because it's in a uh, it's in open air, not between two parts. I have um, some super glue accelerator, which basically hardens super glue instantly. So I'm going to use that just to keep the video going. So we get a little spritz of this stuff on there. 
and that actually activates the super glue and will cause it to crystallize and harden pretty much instantly. So those parts are ready to go. So I can take the screws back out now. And what we've done is basically we've locked our nuts in place so we don't have to fight with them now when we go to assemble the next step. They're, they're stuck in there. Okay. So that's all done. Now we'll move on to the finger plate. Um, the finger plate goes on here. You'll notice there's, you know, the, the servo is offset on the finger. That will be based on what finger it is on the hand. They'll be offset different directions. But for the finger kit, it really can go either way, but I tend to set the servo offset to the right side. So you'll see there that that servo, when I line that up, is offset a little bit to the right of the finger. So we're going to take one of our 440 screws and one of our flat washers, slide it through there, and drop it on the hole. And screw that guy down. And then we're going to do the same for the other two. And what you're seeing here is the slots in that plate allow you to take the finger and kind of change the angle the finger sits at. And what that represents is the spread of the fingers in the hand. Again, this will be used later when the fingers are in a, in a hand assembly and you want to position them. For now, we'll just set it in the center of the slot. And snug those down. And that completes the wood assembly of the finger.